In this tutorial, I'm going to go over quiz number one, which you took today. Motion at x direction. Problem number one is very simple. I gave you two vectors. Vector one, I said two kilometer. And vector two, I said one centimeter is how many kilometers? So you take the ruler and you put the ruler over here. So you put the ruler over here, you measure it. So let's say the ruler give you, if you put the ruler here to here, it's going to give you five centimeters. Now, since I ask you one centimeter is how many kilometers, you're just going to uh, divide both sides by five. So five, five cancels, so you have one centimeter. One centimeter is two over five, which is 0 0.4 kilometer. And that's the answer. Very simple. Next time, if I ask you, hey, what is the displacement? Then you're going to construct the displacement by using the ruler. You're going to use the ruler, right, to find how many centimeters, right? And then one centimeter is 0.4 kilometer. That's how you know how many kilometers is. So for the Friday, I'm going to ask you that. Very nice. Now I'm going to go over problem number two, which ask you whose quantity is a vector. The length uh, can be vector quantity, right? Which is displacement, all right? And the displacement also measured in uh, meter. So yeah, displacement, another example of length. Length can be two types, scalar and vector. All right, so number three, who is pair of quantity? Scalar. All right. Speed is a scalar <coughs> and mass is a scalar. The speed is derived and mass is, of course, uh, fundamental. fundamental quantity. However, they both are a scalar. Problem four I ask you to estimate uh, the diameter of your dinner plate. So, the diameter of your dinner plate I ask you to estimate. You realize that this is just one centimeter. This is just, uh, how can I write it? This is just one centimeter. All right, one centimeter times two. So this is just two centimeter. This is uh, one times two. This is two meter, which is 200 centimeter. Okay, that's just too big. It's impossible for, uh, for the plate to be that big. This is 10 centimeter, 10 times two. So this is 20 centimeter. This is 10 meter, 10 meter times two. Uh, so this is 20 meter. All right, 20 meter, not possible. 200 centimeter, not possible. It's just a little too big. And two centimeter, no, no, not too possible. So the answer is 20 centimeter. Can a plate diameter can be 20 centimeter? Yeah, it can be. Five, I ask you a unit use for vector quantity. All right, so I gave you many options, but one option I give you meter. Another option I give you meter per second. Uh, both of them are right. Okay. If you choose this one, you are right because it can be displacement. It could be distance, but hey, the other possibility is a special case uh, of length is displacement. So hey, there you go. This one could be uh, speed or this one could be velocity. All right. So can it be this one? Yes. Can it be that one? Yes. Any other option? No. Problem six. We have a velocity versus time graph. I give you, uh, let's say, 10, 15. 10, 15 is right here. And let's say 6, 15. 6, 15 is right there. 6, 15 and 10, 15 like this. Like this. And I shaded everything. The number six, I ask you, what is the average velocity from six to ten? So average velocity, I gave you many times, Vf plus Vi over two. Vf is 15, okay? Vf is 15. At 10, at 10 it is 15. At six, it is also 15 over two. So average velocity is 15. Okay, number seven, I give you, I ask you, what is the acceleration? Acceleration from six to 10 is acceleration zero. But acceleration over here is how much? So Vf minus Vi over delta T. So delta T is 6 minus 0, which is 6. Vf is 15. And Vi is 0. So um, 15 over 6, uh, 2.5 meter per second is squared. So this is 2.5 meter per second is squared. And from here to here is 0. So number 8, physical quantity represented by this one. So since this is velocity versus time graph, this one is displacement. This one is also displacement. 
both of them the displacement physical quantity represented by this area area under the curve area under the graph of vt graph is of course displacement because uh, th if this was the speed and this was uh, this was time this this would be a uh, uh, distance but this is displacement because it's velocity versus time graph number nine i gave you many options i gave you a one times 10 raised to minus two meter and i said uh can this be atom uh, absolutely no uh, atom is 10 raised to negative 11 meter at uh, say the least so what is this i told you this one this one is just one centimeter so this is one centimeter okay all right the width of my um uh the the width of my fingernail is could be one centimeter right so this is uh yeah it's very close to one centimeter okay so that's the answer and that takes us to problem 10 problem 10 is super easy problem 10 i ask you i gave you something called speed of light the velocity of speed of light problem 10 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 oh, oh no 300,000 300 meter per second what is that 3 times 10 is to 8 meter per second is that right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yeah okay I ask you order of magnitude lots of people ask me what is the difference between magnitude versus order of magnitude Magnitude is size. Order of magnitude is power of 10. Okay. So order of magnitude is x. So what is order of magnitude? 8. Since 3 is uh, less than 3.16. 8 plus 0, which is 8. So less than negative 100 meter. Okay. So what is the magnitude? Magnitude is negative 100 meter. 100 meter. Uh, that's the magnitude. What is the order of magnitude? Negative 100 meter is going to be 1 times 10 raised to 2 meter. So order of magnitude is 2. Order of magnitude is 2 and magnitude is just 100 meter. You just take the absolute value, the size. And this is the power of 10. Okay. All right. This is the difference. All right. Number 11 is I have a VT graph. So I have 0, negative 10. And I have 5 comma 40. 5 comma 40. So I'm going to connect this to dot. I'm going to ask you to find the acceleration of this one because slope of this one is the acceleration. So you find the slope of this one. So acceleration is Vf minus Vi and Tf minus Ti. So acceleration is what is Vf? Vf is uh, 40 minus what is, v, uh, what is, what is Vi? V A is negative 10 and the T is 5 minus 0, 5 minus 0 which is 5. So 50 minus minus plus, 40 plus 10, 50, 50 over 5, which is 10 meter per second squared. Don't forget that. All right. So number 12, I have two car moving. This is DT graph. So that we're going to say car A is moving with, uh, let's uh, make it uh, nicer. The car A, we're going to consider car A, car A, so this is the velocity of car A, so this is 20 uh, 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 meter per second T. The other one, car B has a head start, so this is car A. Car B has a head start, car B has a head start, but car B is, uh, is, is moving slowly, right? Uh, Car B. The car B has a head start. So from here to here, right? Whatever time it is, the time, whatever time it is, the car B, velocity of car B, is ahead because it has a head start, which is 15 t is moving slowly, but it has a head start, which is 200 meter. So from A, car A to car B is 200 meter. So car B has a head start 200 meter. So I want to find the time, right? So you say, you see, at C, they both meet. Uh, the car A finally passes the car B at location C. 
So then at location C, they must both meet. So you're going to say car A, uh, velocity of car A is equal to velocity of car A is equal to velocity of car B at location C. So 20T is equal to 15T plus 200. So 5T is equal to 200. So T is equal to 40. Now if you write over here, you can solve for both. If you plug 40 in, you get 800. If you plug 40 in, you get 800. So they meet at uh, 5 uh, second. All right. 5 second and uh, the distance is 800. So problem 13, I have 3 comma 4 and I have 5 comma 6. All right, so I'm going to go 5 comma 6 or something like that. I don't care. All right, so. All right, put 5 over here. But it doesn't matter. I ask you to, this is T. I ask you to find the distance here. Why distance? Because this is speed versus time. So this is uh, distance. So this is uh Area is half a bh. Area is distance, not displacement, because this is a speed versus time. Half. B is time. 3 minus 0 is 3. H is 4. 2 goes to 4 twice. So distance is 6. So this is 6. Now we're going to go to the real problem 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. So here's what I gave you. Hopefully I can do it um, here. I'll write it over here. Point 1 is 2.5 comma 5 2.5 comma 5 so i'm gonna go like this okay point number two i'm gonna say 5 comma 5 so uh, I'm, I'm playing rest five comma five i'm playing rest the third point i'm gonna say i don't know um 7.5 comma 10 so 7.5 comma 10 all right 10 so i'm gonna I'm probably speeding up i don't know uh, speeding up yeah yeah it's speeding up all right so point four i'm gonna say i don't know 10 comma 15. uh okay i'm gonna make it vertex 10 comma 15 all right so let's go for vertex uh, vertex demands a special color all right the uh, uh point five i'm just listing it so i don't make mistake uh, point 0.5 is uh, 15, 15, 15, so 10, 12.5, 12.5, comma, 10, 12.5, comma, 10, 10 is, is this 10, is, is, is this 10, yeah, that's supposed to be 10, so it's the other part of the parabola, yes, uh, 15, comma, 5, so this must be then losing the velocity, 15, comma, 5, okay, uh, can you come over here for one second, just one second. Can you tell me, uh, uh, describe this motion? Wait, what is this? Uh, D, yeah, constant velocity, at rest, accelerating, decelerating, building cycle. So, accelerating a lot, decelerating a lot. Okay, that's it. Okay. 15 point. Huh? I'm actually at NYU. I'm, I'm here to pick up Shubon. Okay, so I'm going to finish up quickly. Uh, but I care for your class so much that although I'm a little tired, I'm doing this so that you get hunted on Friday. Okay. Your mom is calling. Can you tell her that we are on our way? No, just tell her. Comma five. That means you are at rest. You are at rest. And then last P of T is 20 comma zero. 20 comma zero. Okay, that's it. Uh, now, since you have this one, everything going to be easy. VT graph and VAT graph would be super easy. So this is your 5 meter. This is 0 meter. This is 5 meter. This is 5 meter. This is negative 5 meter. This is negative 5 meter. This is 0 meter. This is negative 5 meter. So, uh, okay. So we're going to do uh, velocity versus time graph. I'm going to do it quickly. And then we're going to do acceleration versus time graph. I'm going to do quickly since... Uh, uh, my wife is waiting outside. 
uh, and Shubhano just finished his research. Uh, one section, two section, three section, now uh, this is uh, 7.5, this is 7.5, uh, this is 10, this is 12.5, this is 15. So take the slope of this one. So 5 divided by 2.5 is 2. All right, I'm going to take the slope of this one. The slope of this one is 0. I'm going to go to uh, over here, right, uh, because this one is speeding up. So it's speeding up. I'm um, speeding up. This one is slowing down to 0. So at right here, this is zero, slowing down to 0. This one is speeding up, but if this is whatever it is, uh, uh, this is the same thing. So again, it's speeding up, slowing down to zero, slowing down to zero. This is at rest. This is constant velocity. So this is negative 5 divided by 2.5 is negative 2.5. So uh, I don't know, 5 divided by 2.5 is negative 2. Sorry about that. Okay. So this one, you can easily find it. Uh, what is it? Uh, area is equal to half bh. Area is, uh, of course, 5, half, uh, 3 over 2. Uh, not 5 over 2, am I? 5 over 2 uh, velocity. So then 5 is equal to 5 over 4 velocity. Divide both sides by 4 over 5. 4 over 5. Oh, velocity is 4. So this velocity is, velocity plus, this is 4. So this must be negative 4. Oh, okay. Very nice. Okay, that was quick. Do not forget to shade area under the curve. A lot of people shading these. These, the, I don't know what are you doing, guys. Not sure what are you doing. Okay, now we're going to do acceleration versus time gap. And that's going to be quick. And that's going to be easy. Okay, if this is a straight line, um, okay, this is a straight line, this must be zero. If this is, a, uh, this is zero, so this is zero. This is positive diagonal, so this must be this. Okay, four minus zero divided by 2.5, which is 1.6. And here to here is the same thing, but negative 1.6. Okay, and here to here is positive 1.6 again. This slope is zero, and this slope is zero. Okay, now we're going to find the distance. The distance is 5 plus 0 plus 5 plus 5 uh, plus negative 5 plus negative 5 plus 0 plus negative 5. So the distance is 30. So speed is uh, 30 over 20. So speed is speed is 1.5. Average speed. Average speed. Displacement is uh, zero because you back back to home. So average velocity is displacement over time. So zero over time. This is zero. All right, okay, so this is what you're going to see on uh, on Friday, except you have to write the y-axis, the value of the y-axis. That's a small changes I'm going to make. All right, 